Welcome to the third day of the Chainsaw Championship happening right here in Chetwin. The footage you just saw was how the sculptures looked at the start of the day. And as you can see, a lot of them are really starting to come together, just like these tortoises right here behind me. By the end of today, most of the competitors should be done with the actual carving part of the whole process. And we're now going to check in with a few of the carvers on just how everything is coming along. Yeah, okay. Well, so today, the start of day three, uh, I definitely feel really good about the piece of work I've got going here, um, it's it's way on schedule. It came out so much quicker than I had expected. So uh, I feel very very confident on you know in, in as far as getting it finished. But then a little walk around last night, you know, I saw a few sculptures that in my head I think, oh gosh, maybe I should do a little more with mine because you never know. Uh, day three right now. I feel pretty good about the design. I've got all my flow ready to go. It was a very complex piece to get blocked out, but I'm, I'm pretty thrilled to be here at this point. As you can see, there's a, you know, a nice curling wave here. I've got two pieces right there. I just got to cinch them together and then uh, piece the big sailfish on the other side. And then we'll have two uh, sailfish with opposing lines. It's going to make a really nice piece of art, I think. So I'm really excited. Yeah, um, there's a couple of obstacles that I face, like there's a, you know, a little crack in the center of the log, but with these old growth uh, uh, cedar logs, you, you'll usually run into a few little cracks and bobbles inside the wood, and you know, we had some shim, so I fixed that up really nice. Uh, at the start of day three, uh, four minutes to go, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Obviously, I've got a lot more to go. The bodies come together nice, the fins are up. Now we're just working down into the uh, heavier detail part now that the body's done. Got to do the face, got to put a fish in, got to do a lot of coral. Still a ton of work. The hurdles have definitely been dealing with Robbie Bass. Um, he's been living on my couch. Basically likes having wine and cheese parties a lot, you know. But you can't go wrong with that, I guess, if you like wine and cheese, which I do. We are at the end of day three at the Chetwin International Chainsaw Carving Championships. Of course, judging doesn't start until tomorrow afternoon. That means the carvers, like you see behind me, are really bringing out the detail in their pieces today. And the tourists have been showing their support. We spoke with some of them on their favorite pieces. And also, we'll give you an updated shot of all the pieces today. I'm Doug Bean. I'm from Edmonton. Uh, we came here just for the carving event. This is our second year. One of my favorites is Chris Foltz. Um, man, he's got terrific imagination and really like his facial features. I'm Caleb and I'm from Mackenzie. So far, what's your favorite sculpture that you see right now? The one with the swordfish. What do you like about it? Um. I like the swordfish. Yeah, I'm Colin King, and I live in Abbotsford. Uh, the favorite one, and I believe it'll be the winner, is the fellow at number 12. He's from Alaska. Okay, I'm Abby, and I'm from Valley View, Alberta, but I grew up here. I love the turtles. The tortoises are amazing. What do you like about them? They, they're like the detail behind it. Like, it's hard to capture, like, the awesomeness of a turtle, but he's doing it, so I'm interested.